Hello and welcome back to our Elite Dangerous Let's Play Poorly. Uh, when last we were here, we got ourselves into a new ship. Let's take a look at this guy. This is a hauler ship. And uh, so that means we need to do some hauling. But uh, I was notified that one of our mounts, one of, one of our uh, hard points, is underutilized. And i got to figure out where that is. Um, Apparently there's a, a class three that's yes uh, class three that's carrying a class two rack. Uh, oh, a couple of them actually. So let's go ahead and stick you in there instead. Repl buy and equipment replace. What? How does that work? Replace module will be stored. I don't want to. I just want to sell it. I don't, I don't need it. All right, and then we got to do this one too. Oh, no, that's, no, not what's going on here. So that's a three. Place the module with, no, what am I doing? There we go, the three, that's it. And I think that's it for that, right? That's everything. So now we actually have quite a bit more space. We have a little pulse laser, which we're probably not going to use. Let's see what else we've got. ECMs, kill warrant scanners, which will be useful down the road once we do if we do combat. But <laughs> mm, not me. Um, what do you do? It's a mining tool. Oh, okay. We're gonna need to use that at some point. Not just now. Uh, let's see. These are all good. Nothing that we need to do that's strange or interesting there. Okay, those are good. And then the vehicle base. We cannot fit, right? Uh, vehicle hangar doesn't work in this thing, I think. Uh, all right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, maybe, do we want to do the missions? Or do we want to just do some commodities? Let's maybe just do some commodities in our, in our first hauler here. All right, so these are galactic average. Oh, okay, so the galactic average is higher by that amount, looks like. Okay, I think. I had I've kind of prophecy. Oh, profit is sold out. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've looked at this. Food cartridges. How much money do I have? 578. So if I were to buy these, I could get like a whole bunch. But I. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to go with top profit because I don't. I still don't. I have cargo capacity of 22, but it's still not like, you know, amazing. So let's go find some marine equipment, maybe. And they're consumed by Arapahoma. Or Waltzu, looks like that would be the best. At Allard Nutrition Base. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so Aller, uh, Allard Nutrition Base and Waltzu. Is there a way to... There it is. Now we gotta find... Allard, what's it called? Stillman... Ooh, we don't know where they are. God, I hope it's not gonna cause me some problems. Well, it's not one of these two. It could be this guy, or it could be one of these four. Or it could be any of these. Oh, oh dear. Well, this seems to have the most things, so we're gonna go ahead and, well, no, we're gonna, we're gonna mark that and see what happens.
they like us to be at max speed 100, I think, inside the station. Sounds very different. That's fun. Matt's locked. the front of this ship kind of looks like a not luxury but it looks de it's definitely not as uh, um, not as gunshipy as the other one was the little sidewinder now the question I have is there's a nav beacon out here so oh I don't want to do that should I go look at it Hundred percent sure what how to do anything with this thing. I know that I'm supposed to be able to scan it or talk to it or something. I don't really know. Up, 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 up. And then that would give me all the information about the system. Where are you? I don't have... Oh, shoot. Hang on now. I do have the discovery scanner. Okay, I just don't have it set up. this do? Is this what I need? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Well, he's just chilling there, so let's see. Navigation beacon. Oh, there we go. I can just scan it that way. That's how you do it. Haha, <laughs> you just target the damn thing. Oh, okay. Data's downloaded. Now let's see. I need to go to, what's it called? Allard something? Oh, there's a whole bunch of things out here. There it is. 
Nutrition base. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. It's over here. And I'm like way the fuck over here. And it's over there. And it's gonna take me 20,000 hours. Alright. Gotta get rid of my d d hard points. Ooh, how do I do that? Think. There we go. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yeah, the worst part <laughs> of uh, space travel in this game is traveling between stars in a multi-star system. Traveling between orbits, because or, you know, uh, star systems essentially within within that. Because, it, well, this one this one actually isn't as bad as I've seen before, but we are going to a different sun and. I've had them take up to like 30 minutes, which sucks. Don't enjoy that at all. This doesn't seem to be like doesn't seem like it's going to be as bad. Actually, let me let me look. So now my system map is going to now show all of the places correctly. It kind of does, I guess. Not really. It no longer says they're unknown, but okay. So that doesn't really help me very much in terms of the uh, the locations on the map or uh, <laughs> on the map in the in the system. Because there's a metric ton of those. All these different locations. Which is cool. I didn't know they were ever really that many placed in, in these systems. I'm used to seeing just like one or two. I guess this is a, some kind of a food pro uh, production complex, maybe? This base? And this, okay, so, and this is the thing. This is the thing about Elite Dangerous that I'm actually starting to enjoy in a way that I didn't allow myself to enjoy before. Like, I always wanted the game to be immersive, which it was, and that was why I played it in the first place, because it was highly immersive feeling of flying, even though the flight model is honestly mid-20th century. Um, the, the feel of being in a ship was still there. But I didn't really enjoy the fact that the universe was so vast and, and, and dull because there's so much so much empty space and not much uh, you know habitation that you can see not that many ships flying, flying around but if I'm looking at this these are well thought out interesting location names and you know having these just existing on the map as it were is is cool like i like thinking about the story of what is allard nutrition base and while the gameplay itself may be slow at least what i'm doing right now i mean obviously i'm sure there's versions of the gameplay where it's like super fast where you're doing combat or you're doing some really interesting mining and so on uh the the interest for me, I feel like, is just always going to be the the depth of detail the in, uh, that will be enjoyable to me. The, it's this 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 depth of detail is what what I find uh, compelling.
So I think at some point, what I might do is I might start thinking seriously about which factions do I want to support explicitly and not just take the best, you know, the best missions and so on and actually tell a story for myself and tell a story for this, this playthrough. Right now, I am my, the, 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 the person, the character that I'm playing, as it were, is just kind of getting his sea legs and hasn't really, ah, oh, dang it. Hasn't really done much. Did I need to do that? Probably not. And so I'm I'm still kind of got my training wheels on, but at some point I will probably start taking sides. Do I have an FSS scanner? Should I should I do the thing? I don't even know if I do. I'm, I must, right? Alright, what what are my buttons for this? FSS mode is here? Yes, I do. Okay. That says target too close. Great. Target too close. Again. I guess these are all already known to me, right? Ooh, there's something, something there. Seriously, don't know how this works. What are you? Oh, target too close. Of course. Degraded missions. One of these days, I'll learn how to use this thing and what I'm what I'm meant to do with it. <laughs> Telling me that there's something there? So can't tell. Oh, yes, okay. Energy tuning failed. Why? Why? Why did it fail? There we go. Okay, why? Okay, what is the difference between those two things? Am I? What am I seeing here? I come up along here. Oh, okay, it must have been like that. All right. Guess that's all I got. Now, I'm sure this is riveting, but I am entertaining myself, so that's just what we're going to do. Okay, so there's more things here. I'm, I'm sort of getting the hang of this. Alright, does that mean I got it? Ah! Aha! Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, uh, here. What are you? Where are you? There you go. Alright, well, that's fun. I'm gonna stop doing that now. Uh, how do I leave this? There we go. Let's get back to what we were doing. <laughs> I could distract myself all day with something like that. Oh, I went too fast. Crap, 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 crap. Warning. 
Is this gonna take me for frickin' ever? Yep, alright, we're gonna have to do this the other way. I'm gonna get back into Super Cruise and then do the Orbital Cruise, because otherwise it's gonna take us an hour. Try this again and do it proper. Orbital flight engaged. There we go. Those those red markers are telling me. Glide failed. Uh oh. This is still going to take me forever, and it's just because I'm not still not used to figuring out how to properly uh, orbit and then descend. I guess I shouldn't have gone vertical. I should have tried to approach from an angle, from a better angle than just straight down. But I was still not super super confident about finding my targets in the right way. But I guess I guess it doesn't matter because it'll tell me if I'm if it's within line of sight or not just by whether or not it's a dotted circle or smooth one. Meanwhile, we get this glorious looking view. I mean, this game is pretty. I'll give it that. I've heard people complain about the, uh, the planetary surface generation methods that are used in Odyssey, but frankly, I don't care. <laughs> they look good to me. I, I understand that some people say that they kind of have these repeating pattern qualities to them now, uh, whereas in Horizons they didn't quite as much. But, yeah, I haven't really... It hasn't, it hasn't jumped out at me, I guess is what I, the way I'd put it, so that I don't really pay attention to it, and therefore I don't notice it. And it may not even have a like I may not even be in, in encountering any planets that have that issue. I, w I don't know that I'd even be able to tell. Yeah, we're gonna have to spend some time learning how to glide down to the surface of a planet properly, because this sure as heck ain't it. says, welcome back, Mitter. Have I been here before? I probably wouldn't even know. 
I had so many things with different names, I'll never learn them all. Alright, slow down now, and let's get our landing gear out. Too far, too far. Over, over. There we go. And down. Nice and slow. Shit, shit. Docking successful. I did it. Yay. Refuel, repair, because I damaged myself somehow. I think that was like sheared pieces of my hull off with that super cruise going into the orbit. <laughs> All right. So we've got commodities. What are we selling? Marine equipment. 31,000 profit. Okay, not bad. And we can get agronomic treatments and make a little bit of, oh, they, that's going to narrow ditch horticultural factory. Says. It says also consumed, produced by, also consumed by. What does that mean, also consumed by? Why is it also? I mean, not, isn't it just consumed by? Hang on. Okay, so. We would lose money. I see. Okay, so we'd lose money if we sold it to Narrow Ditch. We gotta try to take it somewhere else. The galactic average we would get it at thirty three ninety, which suggests to me that the galactic average is probably closer to ten k. And so, if we were to sell it at Hausdorf, which is the best price that's in the area, we'd still be leaving money on the table. Well, that's okay. Oh, why can't I buy these? Oh, because it's the cells. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. I need to go to buys. Yeah, I was wondering why there were so many of these things that you wouldn't expect to be sold from a from a nutrition base. Um, all right, buys. Here we go. Tobacco. Go ahead and buy a whole bunch of tobacco here. Capacity. And we want to sell it to Methabelli Stop, I guess. Where is that? Am I even going to be able... There it is. Not the belly stop. Good. All right. Well, that's 30 minutes, though. So we're going to go ahead and end it here. And then when we come back, we're going to go over to there and sell our stuff, our tobacco. And then from there, maybe we're going to do some missions. We're going to start working on the missions and, and maybe try to get some rep and try to make some friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.